As I mentioned earlier, when our Senate chairs were here, our House members were stuck in backup votes. They are here. Uh, we have two of our the Republican and Democratic co-chairs from the House. Um, they've been with the Internet Caucus since its inception. They've helped to bring this, this educational project along, and they're with us this evening, and they would like to sh share with you a few of their words about where they think the state of the net is and some of the things that, that they have planned for uh, the coming Congress. Representative Bob Goldgott and Rick Boucher from Virginia. Jerry, thank you very much. Welcome. We are delighted to have such a, a, an excellent and every year growing turnout for the kickoff of the Internet Caucus. And we're delighted to have all these great companies with uh, demonstrations of uh, the latest technology. I think that uh, is what draws folks here. Um, when I talk about technology, I need to turn off my, my BlackBerry here, my, my cell phone, and talk to you about one of the issues that affects not only the technology community, but really all of industry, and that is um, class action lawsuit reform. Recently, I was down at the White House. The President invited me down to talk about this bill, which Rick and I have introduced in each of the last three Congresses to reform the class action lawsuit industry, and that's what it is in this country, preserve the right to have class actions but not have the kind of abuses we have today. And the President invited some House members, some Senators, Democrats, Republicans to talk about moving this legislation as his first priority. Your industry has been tremendously helpful in moving along. The President was telling the Senate that they need to move this legislation and get it through the, the, the Senate so we can get it to his desk in just a few weeks. And I was sitting there beaming as he talked about my legislation and my cell phone rang. Well, if you know the president, he hates to have cell phones ring. And it was a borrowed cell phone and it played marching music. It happened to be on the day that we were going to vote on the electoral college votes later in the day. I said to the president, after he looked at me and he said, well, the first cell phone violation of the new year. I looked at him and I said, Mr. President, I just want you to know that's marching music to celebrate your impending re-election later on this afternoon. He looked at me and said, good recovery, Bob, but now I'm on probation at the White House. We have a lot of issues that we need to address here in the Congress that affect your industry. We have had great success in recent Congresses thanks to the fact that we have a bipartisan coalition. These issues often do not break down along partisan lines. We need to keep it that way. And one of the things that makes us so successful in that area is the work that Jerry Berman and Tim Lorden do with the Internet Caucus Advisory Council, uh, who work so closely with us to help us organize events like this and the conference that you had going on all day today, which got such great response. I understand more than 300 participants in the conference. That is absolutely tremendous. We will be dealing with issues like spyware, privacy, taxation of the Internet, uh, issues related to uh, copyright law and intellectual property law, reform of our patent system, all of these things will have a dramatic effect on what you do. And the focus will be on how government can step aside and allow you, the free enterprise system, to promote all of these great new uses of technology and make sure that it reaches every home in America through enhanced high-speed Internet access through broadband and so on. So at this point in time, I want to introduce uh, my partner in this effort, somebody who is also from my neighborhood in southwest Virginia, we're glad to see the University of Virginia and others represented here, but uh, who works in a bipartisan fashion to promote your interest in the Congress. The gentleman from the 9th Congressional District and uh, the Democratic co-chair of the House, Congressman Rick Boucher. Uh, thanks. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you very much, Bob. I appreciate that uh, those kind remarks. 
and I want to thank you also for the tremendous work that you do um, in technology policy in the U.S. Congress and also as chairman of the House Agriculture Committee. Bob Goodlatte is the single busiest member of Congress who I know, and we are very fortunate to have his time and efforts applied to our work in the technology sector. I also want to say congratulations tonight for the fine work of Jerry Berman and Tim Lorton and others at the Internet Caucus Advisory Committee. This is a very hard-working organization that is advancing the cause of technology policy in the U.S. Congress and making every year a tremendous contribution to the quality of our debate in the Congress. Not only do they sponsor events like the very successful State of the Net Conference today, but almost on a weekly basis, the Internet Caucus Advisory Committee is hosting events in the House of Representatives, in the Senate, informing staff and members about the pros and cons of the very important technology policy issues that we're debating in that particular year. And they do a terrific job of providing information, both pro and con, without taking positions on these critical issues. And that's a very important information resource for members of Congress and for their staffs. I remember just two years ago at this reception that we were all marveling at the first demonstrations of the voice over internet protocol technology. And we were looking forward to the day that voice over internet protocol would become a tremendous driver of broadband, encouraging people all across the nation that they should subscribe to broadband in order to receive this very affordable and high quality internet based telephone service. Tonight we can witness the first demonstrations of multi-channel video over the IP architecture. And I want to congratulate in particular SBC that is here tonight with its demonstration in this corner of the room of multi-channel video delivered over the internet. Multi-channel video is what we would commonly call cable TV service. And with this application, a literally unlimited number of channels can be delivered because it is a switched architecture with the content residing on the server back at the service provider's premises. It's all seamless to the customer who clicks the switch and then another channel comes up. He doesn't realize all that content isn't right there in his set-top box. But with this architecture, there literally is no limit to the number of channels of video that can be provided. So now we have it all. We have VOIP for voice. We have data being delivered across the IP architecture. And now we have also multi-channel video, a true convergence in the offering of multimedia entertainment across the Internet. It's going to be offered across a variety of Internet platforms, and the consumer will be the winner with all of the competition that will come in the offering of these services. And so if anyone doubts it, you can say, based on what you've seen tonight, that the Internet really is achieving its place as a commercial medium. I want to say thank you tonight also to the University of Virginia, to Dr. Karen Ruban and, and to Gene Sullivan and their staffs for being here and demonstrating something else of tremendous value. We have, uh, at the moment, a live connection from this room with two sergeants who are serving in Iraq. And this service is being provided uh, courtesy of the University of Virginia's telemedicine office over a service that is known as Freedom Calls. And I want to thank these two sergeants for staying up until 2 o'clock in the morning in order to join this reception. They are live from Iraq here on this screen. And if anyone would like to talk with them, I, I think we can probably persuade them to stay a few more minutes, and you're welcome to come over and engage in a conversation with them about how things are in Iraq. But what I particularly want to note is that the University of Virginia is using all of its telemedicine sites in Virginia, which now number more than 50, in order to connect family members with their loved ones in Iraq. And that's being done over the telemedicine links operated by the University of Virginia. It's all on IP architecture and is yet another great use of the Internet, improving the quality of people's lives. 
Well, I've talked more than long enough. I just want to say welcome. Thank you for taking part in our reception. Come back next year. It seems like every year we have to get a larger room for this. I think this is the largest room we have on the Hill. I'm not sure where we go from here, but uh, if the past is prologue, we're going to need a larger room next year. Thank you all very much. Rick, thank you. Also, say hello and welcome a member of the European Parliament, Erica Mann, who is uh, a leader in the European Internet Foundation, a uh, counterpart. Come on up, Erica. Erica is from Hanover, Germany. She's joined by Vivian Haig, who helps with all these issues with the European Internet Foundation. And please say hello. I mean, what can I say? Hello first. Thank you so much for being here. It's not the first time. And it's very impressive, actually, to see this. I mean, I have seen it developing. Um, and it's impressive just to walk around and, and see what you are showing. And I would love to say a few words, actually, to the guys from Iraq, but I will not do this. I think you should take, you should take your chance. Um, the European Internet Foundation is working with the Internet Caucus since many, many years. We are pleased, actually, to have them because what we try to do is to make sure that we, you know, understand each other better. The Internet is a global medium, so it doesn't make sense that we, you know, run into different directions. That's what we want to make sure. They are coming over, both of you, soon um, to Strasbourg, so we will have them just a few weeks uh, ahead of us. And then we will be back in, uh, in July in Washington. And, yeah, I think it's quite good the way we are working and cooperating together. I wish you a wonderful evening, and thanks for giving me the floor. Enjoy the exhibits. Thank you very much.